Think Tech Hawaii. Civil engagement lives here. Rowena from Philippines. Yes. She's here with us um, at Lucky Plaza. This is a place of congregation for foreign domestic workers during their weekly day out in Singapore. Being that over 250,000 domestic workers are here in Singapore, that means one in five households in Singapore has a foreign help. We'd like to speak to Rowena today to find out how her life is here in Singapore. Welcome to the show, Rowena. Uh, thank you, Mom. Now, Rowena, how long have you been in Singapore? I've been working here for uh, 10 years. 10 years? Yes. Have you always been with the same employer? I uh, know uh, since uh, 2008, I already had a uh, fourth employer. This oh, is the fourth employer. employer that I have. Okay. So was it your choice to go from one employer to the next? Was there a time contract for each time? Uh, yes. Uh, actually, when uh, it's my first time here, uh, I work with an Indian family, which is uh, four years, no, five years. Uh -huh. Were they Singaporean uh, family or? Yes. Singaporean family. Yes, okay. they are, they are uh, personal uh, residents here. Mm -hmm. And then after that, after five years, I decided to uh, look for a uh, foreign uh, employer. So I met uh, my Australian employer. So they have uh, one child, he is a baby boy. Mm -hmm. Then I worked with them for eight months because after eight months they went for for good in uh, Hong Kong. Uh, that time they want me to go with them but I, I refused to go just because of some uh, reasonable uh, thing. So I stay in Singapore after that. Uh, they introduced me with their friends at the same condo, that is that was a uh, Dakota condo. Uh, then I work with the British family. They have one uh, uh, baby girl. She is uh, one year old. And then I work with them like eight months. After that, they went for uh, for good in uh, UK. After they went for for good, then my mom posted me in the Facebook to look uh, for another family to work with. So uh, we found Finnish employer. So I worked with them for uh, two years. And you're still with them today? Yeah. No. 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 Now. No. Uh, I finished my contract with them last uh, March uh, 14. Then uh, after that, I decided to um, find another employer again because uh, I look after two kids. Uh, they are both boys, very active boys. So the older one is um, three years old. The second one is one year and uh, uh, four months. I'm the one who look after since birth. Oh wow! So the older one is like one year and five months that time when I joined with them. So it's like very, uh, very. Uh, it's been very tough to look after, uh, after them, and then doing household chores is not easy for me. Now going back to the first employer, why did you leave your first employer? Was it just to try working for other employers? Uh, no, because. Uh, uh, since they are Indian, uh, it's difficult because uh, I'm working. I start my work like seven o'clock in the morning until twelve midnight. Oh my goodness! So I don't have enough time to sleep, which make my health not easy. Right. I right. always feel uneasy till uh, until then. I I I realize that myself is going like mm. uh, bit. Uh, I'm always getting sick. So it was a long working hours that prompted you to look for another employer. Yeah. Did you get any day off with the first employer? Uh, for first uh, uh, three years, mom, I didn't have any off day. Wow. Like every day you must have to work, was no before, rest day. Was that before Singapore made the law that the domestic workers got to have a day off. Yes, was that before the law yeah, came Before, in? yes. I see. But uh, some agencies they won't allow you to go off. They even the rules is like uh, made must have take one uh, rest day per week. But the agency they never follow the rules. So for three years you were working from seven mm, to twelve. Yes, to yes, oh that's right. Did they have any children too? 
I, I have family. two. I'm a widow with two children. No, I mean the first family. Do they have any Ah, yeah, oh, oh, the first month they have two uh, so girls. I see. Like okay. four, years, four years old and 11 months when I joined with them. So, going to the second family, what things did, did things improve? Did you get a day off? Yes, because I get uh, uh, every week uh, off day, every Sunday, and public holiday. Mm -hmm. And then uh, every uh, twice a year. They will. Uh, they always uh, send me uh, to Philippines to visit my family. Oh, that's very nice. And they pay for your way back. Yes, too. of course. Oh, that's very nice. That's the second family, right? Yeah. And that's the one that went to Hong Kong. Yes, ma'am. Oh, okay. And the third family is. The third uh, family is uh, British. 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 They are also very good. Same. Same. What? 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 Uh, what all the rules uh, that we had with my um, Australian, Australian family, mm -hmm. same. Same rules. Yes, just the same. And you got a day off. So since you're a second employer, you get a day off every week. Yes, uh, same as every week and mm -hmm. also public holiday. And my British employer, if once they're coming back, coming back from work, then uh, they will take over with the uh, baby girl and then they will let me go and relax. Now tell us, what made you come to Singapore to, to seek work? What made you decide to come to Singapore to look for a job? Uh, because uh, I'm a widow with two uh, kids, so it's not easy to to finance them. I come here to give them a brighter uh, future because I want them to uh, finish their studies and I want them to give their uh, brighter, brighter. Uh, How old future. are your children? Uh, the older one is 23 years old now. Oh, yeah, you and look so young. <laughs> Thank you. you. So young. Thank you yeah. so much. And uh, uh, the second one is 13. 13 oh, years old. So the ten years apart. Yeah, ten years apart. Yeah, 10 years apart. So, yeah. you, but you get to see them twice a year now. Uh, yes, ma'am. Have Thank they ever you. come to Singapore? No, but I'm planning to bring them. If oh. God will. <laughs> oh, we look forward to seeing them here. Yeah, this is a great place. For you. Yeah. Even for th be, be 13 or 23, this is a great place to visit. Yeah. Now, share with us some of your job duties. What do you do besides taking after the kids? What, what else do you have to do at the house? Uh, Mm, do you do cooking? Cook, do you do yeah. cleaning? No, in my present employer, no, ma'am, I don't need to do cooking because uh, I, they have one child. Mm -hmm. He's uh, one year old, uh, one year and four, four months, like 14 months, mm -hmm. one year, three months, I guess. So my mom is a Canadian teacher and my sister also is working in the office. So they are both working. So me and uh, the baby boy will stay at home. So I, the priority is the, uh, is the, the uh, child. Mm -hmm. So, so I'm, the cooking? I'm not doing the cooking. I just need to prepare the veg, vegetable and then my mom will cook. Mm -hmm. When you say your mom, you mean the, the madam, right? The yeah, the madam. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So and it's not, my job now is quite very smooth. Mm -hmm. What about uh, cleaning? Do you have to do all the cleaning in the house? Ah, uh, yes, ma'am. And yeah. then because ironing and... Yeah, ironing is just once a week. Once a week? Yes, ma'am. Now, when we talk about cleaning, is it deep cleaning or you just have to do like deep cleaning once a month? Is it day-to-day -day uh, just maintaining? Because I want to maintain that the house is clean, so even my mom says you don't need to uh, vacuum the floor every day, but I I still need to do because I want it I want to maintain it clean. You take pride yeah, in work. yes, you take yes. Pride that's in I think that's my habit already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I I don't want to sit. I don't want to sit uh, nothing to do. I my my body is like and uh, I feel not comfortable if mm -hmm. I'm sitting. I just I always need to be to have work. Mm -hmm. Now, you haven't been in Singapore for 10 years. Tell us what are some of the things that you like about being in Singapore when you do get time out to, you know, to enjoy the country. Oh, I like I like Singapore because it's very safe. Anytime when you go out, you don't have any doubt, you don't have any any tension because even you're walking alone, then nobody will disturb you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it means you are safe. Nobody do, will. Do you have friends here? Yes, I have some where, friends. Where did you make these friends? Is it? Uh, uh, in uh, our condo, ma'am. Yeah, yeah, in our condo. I just met them. I, I meet them every day, eating lunch together, oh. even dinner. 
give uh, eat snacks together, and then we always meet because we have we have every maid, every friend has their own baby, so mm -hmm. we always go down to play Playground. morning oh, and nice. afternoon. Right, so they have play days, and then you yes, have friends. Yes. Oh, that's wonderful! And weekends you go out. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now. Um, you're working with a good family now. Have you heard of some of the, you know, horror stories from some of your other friends who might not be as fortunate as you are to be working for a good family? Do you have any um, not so good stories to share with us? You don't have to, you know, give us their names. No, just, I don't know. know. Sometimes I heard that the employer is not like they are not friendly. They don't have. Um, they don't have enough food to eat, like that. Not so, enough food. To yeah, eat. Not enough food. No, no enough time to rest. Mm -hmm. uh, that so. only the you, 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 rumors that I heard to other parties. What about taking care of some of the kids? Have you heard stories where you know maybe the children are bullying the mates or the? Uh, no, I just sometimes I'm reading in a newspaper uh -huh. that uh, some maids there. But not Filipino. not Filipino. It's just in in one hundred percent maybe no one also they are very lovely. Philippine helper are very lovely. No, I mean I mean I mean the children bullying the mates, not the mates bullying oh, the children. Oh, yeah. No. Do you have cases? You know, maybe are the kids spoiled and they would order the mates and uh, no no no. I never encountered. Yeah yeah. No. So even yeah. your friends, you, you didn't hear yes, such stories. Yes, no no. Oh, that's very I didn't. I didn't hear any stories about this thing. That, no. So how much longer do you intend on working in Singapore? I'm sorry? How much longer do you intend on staying here? To maybe work? I will stay here maybe more uh, 10 years. Another 10 years? <laughs> yeah, because I have some other plans also for my family until I get some money for to start a new business. No, wonderful. Maybe, yeah. Right. Maybe I'll, I'll stop. Maybe 10 years. Mm -hmm. And your youngest will be 23 by then. He will be working too right? yes, by then. Yes. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Rena. We're going to take a little short break here. And when we come back, we'll like to learn more about your life here in Singapore. Thank you. Do you want to be cool like me? If so, watch my show on Tuesdays at 1 called Out of the Comfort Zone. I sang this song to you because I think you either are cool I have the potential to be seriously cool and I want you to come watch my show where I bring in experts who talk all about easy strategies to be healthier, happier, build better relationships and make your life a success. So come sit with the cool kids at Out of the Comfort Zone on Tuesdays at 1. See you there. Aloha, I'm Kili'i Akina and I'm here every other week on Mondays at 2 o'clock p.m. on ThinkTech Hawaii's Hawaii Together. In Hawaii Together, we talk with some of the most fascinating people in the islands about working together, working together for a better economy, government, and society. So I invite you into our conversation every other Monday at 2 p.m. on Think Tech Hawaii Broadcast Network. Join us for Hawaii Together. I'm Kili'i Akina. Aloha. Welcome back to the show. This is Global Report. I'm your host, Wally Ong. We have with us today Ms. Ruena from Philippines, who's here to share with us about her domestic working life here in Singapore. Now, Ms. Ruena, you mentioned you have two children in Philippines. Yes. So let's go back to, you know, right before your departure, how did you handle telling them that you're going overseas to work? Oh, that's a very nice question. Actually, it's uh, very uh, difficult part of the parents to leave uh, our children but uh, of course you have to emphasize you have to explain to them that uh, if I, we will stay together and then nothing will happen I cannot give them a brighter future so they should uh, understand that but your, your younger child was only three years old at that time right yeah yeah so yeah. How, how did you you know make how make did you believe. Make comprehensible yeah, to three yeah. How did you? How did you? Talk and to he, him? Although he's uh, only three years old, and then I'm I'm comfortable because they live with my parents. Mm -hmm. So while they're grown up, and then I think my parents will really slowly explain. They will they will make him understand why uh, I work abroad. 
then while they grow up, then they understand the thing, the fact that why that you're, making a, that you're making a, a sacrifice. Really. Yes. Now for yeah. your older older child, um, he was 13 years old at that time. So you could actually talk to him. How did he handle it? Actually, uh, when I uh, told him that uh, I go abroad, he doesn't like it. He says that better you stay here. You can look a job here. Then you can what? you can you can find uh, a, a job, job here mm -hmm. so yeah. that we always be together. Mm. But I'm thinking if I will stay uh, and work in Philippines, I cannot uh, earn uh, money. How much I can give every uh, month? It's not enough. Mm -hmm. Do you so mind sharing how much you make in Singapore as as opposed to how much you will be making in, in Philippines? In Philippines, when I'm work uh, over there, then I only earn like seven thousand five five thousand like that in, in, uh, a month. Pesos. Yeah. How much is that in Singapore dollars? I think it's like uh, 150, 150 dollars. Okay, so that's about 120, 130 US dollars. Uh, okay. yes, and how much are you making in, in Singapore? When I first, uh, when it's my first time to come here, I'm only earning like uh, 13,000, 14,000. It depends upon the rate of a Philippine, uh, of Singapore to Philippine peso mm -hmm. until it gets increasing and increasing. So that's so about, that would be about 300, 400 dollars. 300, $340. I start from 340 dollars salary per month. Yeah, per month. Okay, so that's about three, 300 US dollars. Uh, yes, okay. ma'am. So until it become 400, then it increase again 500. Now, how did you find a way to get here? Was there an agency there that helped you to, to uh, find a job here? What was the process I have a, like? I have, I have uh, one neighbor who's working here, like I think two years. Mm -hmm. And then she find agency for me here. It's like a direct hiring. Uh -huh. That time. But there are agencies in, in Philippines too, right? No, they don't oh, have. They so don't you have, have any agency. agency yes, in Singapore. Um, it's only here in Singapore. I see. So I came here as a uh, visit, visit the tourist tourist visa, tourist visa. Uh -huh. and then they arrange my all my documents here as a legal worker here in. Singapore. So the process started when you came here as a visitor. How long did it take to the day that you actually got employed? Uh, I think uh, not even. It's just a uh, weeks, maybe like two weeks. Oh, that's fast. Yes. Oh, that's fast. Yes. Okay. Yes, because you cannot stay here longer time without any legal documents. And how much does this age uh, do these agencies charge? Um. Before, is it a percentage every month or is it a lump sum at the beginning? I think it's a lump sum month because I all I pay my one year time, my one year service to the agency, so I don't have any money for one year, you the whole year. You didn't have any income for a no, year? No, So they took your a year of they income took my one year. Yeah, they took my one year did they service. Make, did they make that clear to you when you were hired? Did you know that? No, they said that uh, I will uh, pay just only for uh, seven months, seven months salary deduction. But after that, they 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 again give an another additional for three months. But what I about don't the contract? know. I never. Isn't, isn't it spelled out clearly in a contract when you sign a contract? Um, Didn't they say it's only seven months? Did yes, yes, it was it? stated there in the contract that you will pay like seven months salary deduction. But no. after seven months, I don't know why they again. They took an Yeah, they charged me more money. Oh, wow. Now, when you were filling in the contract, did you get any help? Because, you know, I imagine English is not your first language, so it's a little hard reading all the nitty-gritty. Yes, Even for English speaker, you know, any contract with fine print. Did they provide any translator? Did you get any help? In no, print? no. No. So you have to just kind of go I by never what even, they said. I never even read my contract properly because my agent is quite very fussy, like very strict. She can she cannot let you hold the contract or whatever. No. So obviously it's you up to you. You you just you just 
you just sign this one, send that one. And you obviously felt cheated because you were told they're going to deduct seven months and they took Oh, all yes, money. ma'am. Did yeah. you have any recourse? Did you have any authorities? Did you know who you can go to to seek help? No, because if you are a first timer, then you, have the, you don't have any courage, you don't have a fighting spirit to talk. So I just keep quiet till I I completely paid the whole year, the uh, one year salary deduction. Because yeah. you were afraid you would lose the opportunity to work, yes, so you just yes. kind of accepted that and... Yes, and no, because, uh, just because my employer, they are uh, good, so maybe if uh, if I finish my uh, salary deduction, then I get my uh, every month salary. Then it should be fine. Now, su suppose you you encounter you know this kind of problems. Let's say your employer is not going to pay you next month or the month after. Do you know who you can go to to seek help? Having been here ten years, do you know who you can go to? Yes, of course. Oh, you do. Yes. Okay. So now you know your resources. Yes. Okay. Yes, ma'am. All right. Yeah. Now, uh, before you went to your first employer, did the agency provide any kind of training for you? Yes. Yes. Training, householder training, uh, and how you take care of the baby. And how long was the training for? I think uh, just for one day, ma'am. Oh, just one day. Just one, one day. day. One day. Do you, know, do, do you know that's the length of time right now or is there a longer program that the government requires? Sorry? Is there a longer, is there a longer training program in place now? Because I know the government started to step in to provide the oversight. I don't know how they process now, but I think just the same. Just the same, like, like just one, one day, day training. Yeah, one day training. Okay. Because now in the Philippines, ma'am, before you enter in Singapore as a helper, you have to uh, start your training in the Philippines. You have to enter in Singapore with illegal documents okay. as a helper. So the training starts there? Yes. Okay, what kind of training do they do over there? Uh, it's. Do, do, do they require you to have a certain level of English or yes, a certain yes. education level? No, no, no. Certain education is not uh, necessary. As long as you can speak English, they understand the way you talk with the employer, the way you, how you communicate with the employer, as long as you are nice. With the family. Like now that. you're very fortunate. Sounds like you've been with good families, but I'm sure there are still challenges. For example, the first family you had to work long hours. What about the, with the other three families? What kind of challenges do you face in your job? Not necessarily from the employers, but in your job. What kind of challenges did you encounter? Uh, in my first employer, mom, a challenge for me is when I start my work from seven o'clock. Mm -hmm. And then every day the two uh, children has a tuition class. Mm -hmm. So every day we are outside after I finish all my work at home. Then I have to fetch them from school. After that we go back home and then take them again to the tuition. Which is a whole day continue, no rest at all. So you, you take them on the buses or MRT yes, to train yes. the train? Yes, sometimes train mom, sometimes, but mostly uh, we go by bus. So your job involves taking the kids around from the act different activities? Yes mom, yeah, yeah, that's a whole week, they have the extra activities from Monday to Friday, even Saturday Now suppose Sunday. you fall sick, who pays for your medical bill? Uh, my employer, your employer it does. is included with the uh, contract and insurance. Insurance, okay. Yes. So that's typical, that's every every domestic worker here. Yeah. They have that included in the contract. Yes, ma'am. Now even at um, you know $400, which is what was an increase from $340, it's still a difficult sum to go by in Singapore because this is such an expensive place. Yeah. So how have you, I mean, do you do anything for yourself at all or do you send most of your money home? Uh, mostly, I, I, I everything send my whole salary to my uh, family because it's small sal salary is not enough to finance. To finance them, so for the whole uh, two years, I never earn <laughs> any money for my for myself. So I, I uh, yeah, I everything I sent with my family, all my salary. All your salary. Yeah. So you don't purchase anything for yourself. No, no, I don't have anything. 
at all. It's very because cost of the uh, cost of living in the Philippines is quite expensive too. Yes, it's getting more so, expensive. Are you yeah. from Manila or which no uh, uh, province? Province. Okay. Yes, I'm living in a so province. So maybe it goes a little further. Yes. Maybe the money goes a little further. Now, how do you keep in contact with your children? Do you Skype every day? Do you get to talk to them or? Uh, through phone mom uh, I always call them like every Saturday or Sunday mm -hmm. and, and thanks to technology it's, it's free yeah the technology is quite like good because you can talk uh, with them like in emo or messenger do you do video conferencing so at least you can see them yes you do that yes yeah and yes. They are, how are they handling are they getting used to you being gone I'm sure they miss you a lot yes of course yeah. yes all of them actually my parents your parents yeah. Too. yeah do you have any siblings uh, no siblings so you're the only child no I have I have but they are all like married oh they're all yeah. married we are all we are all six. I have got four sisters oh, wow. and two brothers. We are all six, and I'm the eldest. Oh, you're the eldest. Yeah. <laughs> do, do any of them also come to Singapore? To, to no, 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 ma'am. I'm only alone who came here. Wow. So yeah. your money goes towards um, your children and, and your parents. And parents, too. yeah. And your parents yeah. too. Because uh, my parents living with my uh, two kids. Right. And your so. parents are retired. Yes. Wow, that's one. They are really supporting. Actually, poor. they are very old now. Oh, they are like in 70s and 80s. 80s. Yes. Yeah, wow. So they are like very. So old. if you are considering staying in Singapore for another 10 years, it's actually difficult to depend on one your your parent to take care of them too. Yeah, that's right. right. That's right. But I think my two sons will. They can manage themselves already. Mm -hmm. So they understand how life moves on. So is the 23 year old still going to school or is he done with school? Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> no, he's a clever kind of uh, boy, but I don't know why he doesn't want to go to school. Because, but he's maybe working. he's thinking. Is he working? Yes. Oh, he's yes, working. So. Okay. Maybe I think he, maybe he's thinking that my mom is wo working so hard. If I go study and then <laughs> he's worried about yeah, spending worried. Your yes, money. Yes, yes, yeah, mom. But I, I always ask him to go go to study mm -hmm. for his own future or his own life in the future mm -hmm. so that he can get a good job in the future mm -hmm. but maybe one day now how do you personally deal with the you know deal with missing your family your parents your children how do you deal with that do you do you get support from your friends do you go to um, church or how, where, where do you get your strength, strength. from? Yes. Mm, I get my own strength uh, with uh, my employer now. Employer. With my employer now oh. because they are really very good. Oh. They're, uh, this really is a very Finnish family, right? No, 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 no. It's a French family now. The French family. Okay. The French family. Oh. They are very supportive, supportive uh, couple. And when they send you back to... Um, to Actually, for I, your holiday I just only I just joined them last March. Oh, just last March. Last last March, this uh, March. And so they, they let I, you go home twice a year. Yes. How yes. long do they let you stay when you go home? I I going uh, this coming July third uh, of July until twenty fourth of oh, July, okay. and then they again uh, 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 get a ticket from me. Uh, on uh, in December, December uh -huh. I will go again for a holiday. For December for yeah. Christmas, from twenty second until fourth of January. Wonderful. So July, that after five months, I'll go again to visit my family. Now, is this pretty rare to have the employer, you know, um, pay for your holiday back home, or are are you one of the rarity? What about your friends? Do they get such trips from their employers too? Yeah, some of my friends some they also, them. yeah. Would you say 5 out of 10, maybe? Five out yeah, of ten. maybe uh, <laughs> 2 out of 10. <laughs> two out of ten. So the other 8, they either don't go back or do they pay their own way? Do yeah, some of them, they pay with their own They ticket. pay their own way. Okay. But some of them might not even get a long holiday to go home, right? Yeah, yeah. Just uh, Normally, it's just a 14 days. 14 days. 14 days. Yeah. I see. That's in a contract. Yeah, that's in a contract. That's Two in a contract. Holiday. I see. Um, now, with your current employers, um, do you feel do you feel like you're part of the family, or you do, do you feel like yes, yes, I think I'm a part of their family. 
Again, yeah. you are two out of ten that feels like that. Yeah. What about your friends? It's just not so common. Mm. <laughs> so they're treated more like an outsider. Yeah. 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 Well, thank you so much, Mr. Rana. I really appreciate you spending thank time Thank you with so us today. much. Thank you so yeah. much. Thank you so yeah. much for inviting me for the end interview. And thanks for thank your you contribution. So much. Yeah. Thank, thank you, you so much.